do 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 Hello. Would you like to be my neighbor? Hey, Bob, did you hear what our illustrious governor did today? No. What did our illustrious governor do today? He, in his infinite wisdom, pulled back his nomination for the state's education commissioner and named himself as the new education commissioner of the state of Maine. Really? Yeah. Nice guy. Uh-huh. How do you interview yourself? Does that, does that, that must go over pretty well. He didn't interview himself. It must have been a great interview, huh, YouTube fans? Austin, why don't you go show them where the TV's going to be? Okay. So this is where the TV's going to be. Right on this wall. Right in the center of it. And that's going to be awesome. Yep. It'll be great playing video games, watching movies. But I promised the wife I'd get this done in first, so it's going to get done, and it's going to be awesome, and I'm hoping she likes it, and if she doesn't, I'm going to cry. That's good. By doing the trim, it'll give me an idea of how many coats I think I'll need to paint the entire wall. We'll have to see what happens. I think it might be one coat. No, it's not going to be one coat. Two, maybe? Um, I'm thinking three. It's probably going to be three. there's too much bleed through that right now you can you can see too much of the white underneath Ugh, and it'd be I mean white I suppose the worst color in a way because I mean if you have blue or something else it'd be a little easier but you always got to do two coats maybe three if you want a good paint job there are some paints out there that you can get away with doing one coat on but they're really expensive Folks, I want to give a big shout out to my son, <laughs> which I was going to say is doing a phenomenal job, you know, being the uh, cameraman, and he really is. It's uh, very difficult to uh, use the camera or use uh, one hand to do film and you know, cutting and doing this. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all shook up in my jammies. Oh, oh, it's going on so smooth. my butt. No, no, people do not want to see my <laughs> butt. They want to see a this, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent. Kind of like my YouTube video intro says, or description, or whatever you want to call it. I think this is going to end up being the longest video I've done to date. We might have some continuation videos. It might be stretched out into two or three videos. I've got a lot of material. Yeah, you do. Ew. OK.
Okay. Um, I'll buy it out. Ooh, I just dripped on myself. There we go. At least not one not. There we go. <sighs> but this isn't just for educational purposes. This is also for entertainment purposes. So I hope you take it in that context as well. <clears throat> Do you have this for a reason? This the wall. Yeah, well, it's supposed to do the corners, but I also have a brush. So. We shall see. I know, I know. I'll be letting you out of the occasion a little bit. This is going to look fabulous. First coat. All we need now is the sacrificial lamb. Chops. Lamb chops. Get it? It's what for dinner. Cadence, if you want, show them how the room looks so far. Give them a little tour of the room. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da.
I wish I was home. I wish I was home. I wish I was home. I'm back. Okay. You're home. You're back. We. Are you going to get it on the floor, Daddy? I'm going to try not to. Are you going to do the inside too, Dad, right there? What? Are you going to do right there? No, I think I'm going to leave this white. I might do it red. Right. I'm not really sure yet. Not really sure. I think I'm going to do a coat, and then I'm going to take a look and see what it looks like, and then kind of figure it out on the fly. Ever so carefully get around that so that you're not uh, painting your switch red. Mm -hmm. ba -da -ba -ba -da. And that is how you do it. That is Don't how sue you me do it. For copyright infringement. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and this is how we do it. Gonna rise the clock. The soul we got. This is how we do it. Baby. There's so much flavor. This is how we do it. So much flavor. So much pain. And this is the first coat, guys. And you could probably see it right off the top, but the edges look and the trim looks a lot darker in the corners and whatnot. That's because the trim and the corners and all that have three coats. And there's only one coat on the actual wall itself. You can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can probably see streaks. And you can see color variations. Uh, that will go away with the second and third coats. <clears throat> Tell me, does that look like an Easter Island head or what? Take a look at that. I think it looks like one. Uh, definitely gives the room a nice cozy look. Um, I think the room looked bigger with it all white, but I do like the color. I think it's going to look a lot nicer when uh, when it's all finished and it doesn't look all spotty like it is right now. But uh, but we are getting there slowly but surely. <clears throat> see, that, there's a really good example there. You can see the darkness on the corners and around the trim and the first uh, coat you can really see it's much much lighter but that will go away and where the trim is that's what it's gonna look like and that goes all the way down there hey Eva alright guys this is with uh, coat number two looks a lot better but you can you can excuse me still see some bleed through um, that's from the first coat still see a little bit of the bleed through uh, so I'm gonna throw a third coat on there I anticipated doing a third coat anyway but uh, I'm going to do that third coat and uh, we'll go from there. I think, I'll, I think I'm going to just tripped over something. I think I'm going to leave this white because it kind of connects to the wall in the kitchen. So I'm thinking about just leaving that white. Besides, if you look at it from the kitchen perspective, it looks a lot better and it would kind of look out of place I think if uh, I don't know if you were looking at it from here it would look a little out of place so I'm gonna leave it white let me know what you think in the comments below
And the third coat's on, and it is looking really good. No bleed through that I can see. And for a room that looks like uh, Campbell's tomato soup, I think it looks pretty good. So, took the liberty of putting the light fixtures and the plug fixtures back in place. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting the baseboard heating uh, radiators and all that. Screw those back into the wall and get the front face back on there. And on that one as well. And we're just about done. From there we'll probably put the uh, trim back in place. And then the real fun part goes right there that's where the new TV is gonna go alright guys this is the finished product here with the living room remodeled and repainted um, I think it definitely opens up the living room quite a bit uh, you saw what it looked like in the first video in the very beginning so I mean you got the Campbell soup red walls I think it makes it look real cozy too. We just need a throw rug and we need a coffee table or something there. And there's the TV setup. I couldn't uh, put it on the wall because I found out I actually have metal studs. Uh, and uh, I really didn't want to risk putting a thousand dollar TV on the wall uh, to have it fall off and break. So I ended up getting a nice little stand from a uh, nice place uh, in Brewer there and uh, set the TV up and everything and the surround sound and I think it looks pretty good so and everything's all done and painted up and the trims back up and the radiator faces are back on and screwed back onto the wall doesn't that look cozy, guys? I think it does. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd certainly appreciate it. Check out all my other videos as well.